Well, welcome back to the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park. And uh, we have had torrential rain here at the Lee Valley Hockey and uh, Tennis Centre. But glad, I'm glad to say it is brightening up for GB against India. It's a match these fans have been looking forward to. Let's join our commentary team then, Charlie Brown, Charlie Broom even, and Cedric D'Souza. Yes, thank you, Chris. Match two on day two pitches two of the sides that drew their opening match here. India take on Great Britain. India saw a two-goal lead disappear against Germany yesterday, while Great Britain defended valiantly to keep the world number one team, Australia, to a goalless draw. India, I'm sure, will feel like it was two points dropped against the Olympic champions, while Great Britain should feel pretty happy with their defensive effort against Australia. As Great Britain, these two teams have met four times in this competition, but the last match was back in 1989. Great Britain have won three of the four matches with India taking the other one. India, on the other hand, have beaten England in two of the three matches that they played against them, uh, including the last one back in 2012, which India won by three goals to one. Well, the two umpires are out on the park already. Barbas of Argentina, Kern Van Bung of the Netherlands. But here come the two teams now. And the weather, well, if you are just joining us, the heavens absolutely opened about an hour and a bit ago. And we had a big delay in our first match of the day, Germany against Belgium. The pitch has drained remarkably quickly. The weather is starting to brighten up a little bit. Hopefully the rain will stay away and we can get this one done in the allotted time. Right, the teams are out. Let's have the national anthems. India's first and then that of Great Britain. And during this special weekend of official birthday celebrations for Her Majesty the Queen, please proudly remain standing for the national anthem of Great Britain. So, Great Britain and India prepare for their second match, which will get underway in just under two minutes. George Pinner there, winning his 100th cap for Great Britain and England this afternoon. OK, let's have a look at the two teams, starting with that of India. And uh, number one, Harmanpreet Singh, at no uh, scored a penalty corner yesterday, as did Raghunath, number 12, the skip of the two centre-backs. The open play goal came from number 11, Mandeep Singh, who plays at the centre of the three up front. 
As for Great Britain, well, what a defensive effort it was yesterday against Australia. Darren Fox with some super running, Lewis Halls and Ware all contributed well, as did Pinner. Now it's to whether or not Great Britain can uh, insert their attacking prowess upon India with the likes of Jackson, Middleton, Ames and Catlin trying to break down the Indian defence. As for the subs, there they are. So, well, Mantel and Gleghorn, Condon start on the bench, the attacking changes available for Bobby Crutchley, the head coach of Great Britain, Robert Altman's the head coach for India, can call upon the likes of Akashdeep Singh, number 27, to bolster his attacking options. Well, Wayne, I think, despite the look on our camera on the pitch, has uh, abated, the lights are on, people have still got the ponchos on just in case the rain returns. But this game looks like it's going to start just uh, 20 minutes or so past the original push time back. So Great Britain get us underway, attacking the goal to our right-hand side in the white shirts and blue shorts. India in the light blue shirts and white shorts and already Srijesh, who wins his 150th cap today, is called into action. So milestones for both keepers. And alongside me, let me introduce him after this attack. As, uh, Manpreet Singh gets it out of uh, the danger zone, at least. is the former India coach and now the coach of Austria. Also coaches the Delhi Wave Riders in the Hockey India League, uh, Cedric D'Souza. Cedric, your thoughts on this match from an Indian perspective and how they react to yesterday's draw with Germany? Well, the first thing is that both teams have uh, a very short turnaround in terms of recovery. So the energy, is there enough en energy in the tank and, you know, are they going to fire all cylinders right through the entire game? Because it was a fantastic defensive structure from both teams. And you've got to see which has got the edge today. And they were, they're both not so good going up forward. And I think they're going to plan that today and see who's going to crack the, the defensive structure. It's interesting you point out the, the rest time because because Great Britain stepped in to host this event in place of Argentina. They've had to sort of shoe, shoehorn it in. They've lost an extra rest day as Catlin drives into the circle. And an opportunity in a penalty corner right from the start. Sam Ward winning it over Tapa. We'll get back to the rest in between in a minute, but Utapa doesn't seem very happy. Well, that ball is picked by Catlin, very beautifully to Sam Ward. Both sub gets the ball and is exactly a push instruction by Meski Utapa and a penalty corner. Well, the opportunity for Jackson and the Indian defence will know all about Ashley Jackson from the Hockey yeah. India League. Well, you know, one thing knowing about him, can you stop him? Well, you know, if, he, if you give him enough time in the, in the circle and there's not a pressure on the first, well, the first wave, Ashley is really dangerous. There he is, Jackson, number seven. And it is going to be Ashley Jackson. And there's a little... Slip to Ward, and it's still in front of Shri Just Catlin. And somehow they've pulled it past the post, Great Britain. What an opportunity that was to take an early lead for the hosts. It was a great backdoor pass by Ashley, and a flick towards goal. She just gets down low to pat that ball, and the resultant rebound also gets both rebounds inside. So that's actually okay. great goalkeeping by Shri Jish, but. GB should have put that ball in with just the goalkeeper in front. Let's have another look at it. Behind the goal. Well, we've got another penalty corner for Great Britain. Complete complete reversal of yesterday's game for Great Britain okay, under the cosh from the get-go almost conceding inside the opening 14 seconds. seconds Great Britain yesterday but they've had uh, got two early Stick penalty corners Stick here the they're all lining up on the top of the circle Jackson she just makes a fairly comfortable save Jackson not really driving through that ball well, I think they were looking for a rebound. You look at uh, look at Jackson, looking at actually 
with uh, Raghunath coming out and looking for the first reaction. Coming into the circle, the deflection from Ward, and Srijesh is there again to make the save. In the middle. Srijesh really called into action early on, screaming at his defence. A couple of direct balls going right to the centre, and you've got to keep the centre closed as much as possible. The direct route completely cut out. Srijesh has called the wall, and he's really performing like one today. Well, it's fascinating in the, the, the total turnaround. I mean, England were under this position India are right now yesterday, and they managed to hold out. It's been a really good test of India's defensive structure at the start of this game. Yeah, you know, if you look at it yesterday also, there were 11 penalty corners for against GB and nine against India. And, uh, you know, and the defensive structure of both teams was good, but they still conceded a lot of penalty corners yesterday. And GB has got two in the first couple of minutes, so... Uh, it's a question of how they're going to keep that defensive structure in India uh, right to the match. But just going back to what we were discussing about the short turnaround and, and Great Britain stepping into host this event and losing an extra rest day, it becomes very important and very like the Olympics in that respect because the games are relentless at the Olympic Games. Yeah, it's exactly because, you know, it's, it's, it's in these kind of tournaments you, you differentiate between the men and the boys and how they can recover and how they can play the, the pressure pressures of this kind of a tournament because the Olympics is uh, just pressure right through. But India yesterday finishing at around half past five, it gives them a decent amount of time to wind down, doesn't it, and have a meal at a proper time and rest, whereas Great Britain finishing at half past nine. By the time you warm down, get back to the hotel, it becomes very late in the day, doesn't it? Well, yes, definitely, and you know, that's why you have so many of these uh, uh, Ways of kind of, kind of recover, especially of your ice bath, and, and also the fact that a lot of physio and a massage, and a lot of rest and a lot of fluids too. So here come Great Britain again through Middleton. And Middleton gives away the a win side, the free hit which he takes, and then back into the danger zone, and it's cleared by the winner, Kyle Mickey. Lewis. So, back. Well, India's actually playing a half court press. They're not moving up, they're not putting up pressure on the ball like they did against Germany yesterday. Mantel. Mantel dropping it out. It's a long corner, long corner. It's a long corner. Poor. As Dixon to his right hand side goes straight up the park and it picks out Martin. Martin driving. Martin tries to get the ball into the circle, but there is Raganath. Lavinda Valmiki. Area ball out of defence and it's found its way through and a chance here. There's defence and attack and not much midfield at the moment. There's Utafa loses out. Layoff from Mantel to Martin. And back again to Mantel. Mantel with his head up. Flicks the ball towards Sri Jesh's goal. Don't do it! Number 15! Yes, you! Wait! He's just asking. Couldn't see who he's Play. talking to. Keep checking. Poor. And there is Harman Preet to cut it out. Harman Preet being allowed to run an awfully long way. And the ball to Mandeep. Mandeep Singh. Mandeep still going. Wonderful play from Mandeep. And in the end, it was Lewis who comes in to make the tackle. Well, that's India's strength, playing on the break and the counter attack. And have players like Mandeep and Akash Deep and Nikhil Tamaya up front who've got speed and who got the elimination skills, it's in the DNA to eliminate skill, uh, you know, what, uh, 1v1 situations. So they've got to use that in the right times, the right places, and use the counters as much as possible. Well, Dortmunds. The head coach was a high-performance coach for India, now the head coach, doing everything, isn't he? Well, at the moment, he's just the head coach for India, and uh, he's got the, he's got the, the nod till the, till the Olympics. Play. Up, uh, and the tackle which uh, Great Britain players, or at least one or two of them, that's uh, 
telegraph pass that has been easily picked off and uh, Leghorn drops it back to Catlin. Catlin spreads it to Condon down that left-hand side for Great Britain. Condon popping it into Ames. Ames has Hoare to his right. Here is Hoare. Hoare brings it under control, has a little look up, drops it back out to Ames. Ames has Lewis to his left. And Leghorn tries to spin Raganath on the edge of the circle. Lewis off Leghorn and then off the stick of uh, Danish. Charlie, one of the things that got, both teams have to do is hold possession of the ball, not so many turnovers and easy turnovers. India, on the other hand, is playing quite a, people, quite a lot of people in defence and holding back, and that's kind of a, I would say, a false defensive structure because you've got to keep your man man to man and not have any number just having numbers at the back doesn't mean you have a defensive structure you've got to have your man to man marking you've got to cover the hotline you've got to have the free man covering the the, the free balls that come through well decent crowd in despite the poor weather and, uh, well the hockey makers have been uh, handing out the ponchos. Which, uh, everyone has uh, gratefully taken. Need to go back. And they're asking an awful lot there of Manfred. Not the uh, best pass in the world from Chinglin Sana. Catlett, well, Manfred. Catlin, Manfred does well to get back and it gets the ball out off Catlin's stick for a 16. Well, Catlin has got great strength on the ball and he's one of the main uh, midfielders from, from GB who can go through like a knife going through butter. And uh, Manfred did very well to cover the cover his zone, get back into the danger zone and steal the ball away. Here he goes again now, Manfred down the right flank and on the ground once again. He's everywhere. But Manfred is one of the few players in India who can play who's really versatile, he can play in attack, he can play in defence, and he's a guy who really wears his heart on his shoulder and runs, his, runs himself ragged. Dixon. To Fox. Down the line and picked up by Sloan. Sloan into the circle. Good tackle, good tackle, good tackle. Battling away, trying to win something for his team there is Sam Ward. He can't. A good pressure by Surinder. He kept Sam Ward, Sam Ward at, at length, kept low, kept the stick down and wide and got that ball. Hardy more unable to bring it in. Here's Brogdon. Skipper of Wimbledon. He successfully defended that English Premier title this season, having won it for the first time last year. Charlie, look at it now. There's been at least five or six seconds after the ball was turned over. That's the reaction from a turnover. You've got the speed and thrust up front as India. You've got to move that ball, react quickly from a turnover, get into your, into your Yamaha and move. It's, it's like you say, you know, you're, you're, and you're dropping deep with numbers and they need that time in order to move those numbers up come the park. Come on, guys, come on. Hey. Into the circle, half a touch and the danger. And Sam Ward almost playing George Pinner into danger, but Nickin couldn't finish. But the ball is deflected by Sam Ward, and, and Nickin goes forward for that ball, and he sees Pinner kind of closing him down, and he still tries to take that shot. Weir to Fox. Lewis throws the aerial and it's found Jackson. Jackson first time and uh, well Sam Ward trying to deflect it in from Jackson his uh, club teammate. A oh, fantastic ball just played overhead ball over Raghunath. Jackson traps that ball and it looks stands and sees Sam Ward lurking near the far post and fires that Damohaka hint but I think it was just too fast for Sam Ward. Here comes the press from Catlin and Brogdon. 
There is an out for India on the left hand side through Surrender Kumar. But they've turned possession over Great Britain, good pressing. But that's the hallmark of GB. They press you wherever the ball is, they, have, they can run, run right through the entire game. And they've got so much of depth in their substitutes and their and the rolling substitution that you know they, they're relentless at you. Good poor strength to stay upright as it rocked onto his heels. Germany drawing again. It's a real opportunity for both these sides to try and get three points. So they get three points, it makes a huge difference to their, their uh, push for that gold medal. Well, I think because the format has changed in this Champions Trophy, so just the top two teams that go to the, into the gold medal match, the next two into the silver and bronze, uh, the bronze, sorry, and then the, the wooden spoon for the fifth and sixth. So every point counts here, and I think it's, as you said very rightly, Charlie, getting a victory here is critical. Manpreet now down the left flank. Sees his attempted cross blocked by Fox Holden. Brogdon plays it back to Jackson. Brogdon spins, hasn't really got an outlet. Finds it eventually to Middleton, who then tries to pick out Ames. Ames has some space to run into. Ames into the circle, still going. Ames can't get the ball out from underneath his feet, and in the end, well, perhaps carries it too far, but that. It was because he couldn't get it out from underneath his feet when he went into the circle. A fantastic give and go by GB, getting that ball inside. And Ames gets that ball. He's, he's actually looking for a shot, but the ball is between his feet. He didn't get enough leverage on that ball. And uh, Sri just gets passed that ball away. Bogdan. Through Martin. Now Weir from Hall. Jackson. Chingsana. And pressure coming from Condon. And India have got themselves stuck in a corner here. Good pressing from Condon and Great Britain. But a patient play from India. Manpreet's the man trying to get them out of trouble, but Condon's turned it over. Condon trying to find Brogdon. Condon with a shot. Slap shot wide of the mark. 16. Well, not very quick hands by Condon, you know. He didn't even just just slap that ball in slightly. He knew that it was, he was being pressed. He just pushed that ball, and if it had gone in towards the goal, I think it would, yeah, yeah, she just covered the side angle. Side. She just was happy to let it go, wasn't he? There is the quarter time at Hooter, and nothing to split India and Great Britain. Well, match two on day two. Quarter time score: India nil, Great Britain nil. So, Cedric, Great Britain shading that opening 15 for you? Well, I definitely think so. They had more of the ball, much more possession, more shots at goals. You just did very well in the goal to save, save India and keep the score sheet at 0 0. But from my perspective, I think India has to start pushing up forward. They're just looking for the counters. They have to also build up play. And, and, not, and the ball speed is critical in, in, in build up play. And the movement of the ball, which is another target that they have to do right through this match. And Dom was there just chatting to his team. He, I guess he feels that they're not, they're not playing their team right. I think Mike actually has Bobby Crutchley. Yeah, he's made me work for it. I've come running up into the top of the stand. Uh, Bobby, your assessment first of all on that first quarter? I was trying to hide from you, Mike. <laughs> um, no, good start. No, we actually played uh, today pretty well. They obviously had a few chances around the circle. It's difficult, obviously, on penalty corners, for example. But the lads have adapted well, and uh, I think the game will get quicker as the pitch just dries out a bit more. Just got to be a little bit careful on some of our play. You know, we don't overcommit and leave ourselves open to obviously India's good counter. Very different game to yesterday. You're on the back foot very much with Australia coming at you. Today, you've really been taking it to India. Yeah, it's games like that. They change all the time, and I think the game flows. And they say, we'll see what happens in the next quarter. We certainly want to keep the emphasis up. Just make a couple of slight adjustments to make themselves secure and actually just be a little bit more clinical in the final third. All right, keep going. Thank you. Yeah, change up for Great Britain today. We're probably crashing sitting up in the stand and not coming down for the quarter time chat. He's on the radio to the uh, team on the bench. Well, I think you know the important thing is that uh, a coach normally sits up on the stands because of the bird's eye view. You can see the entire pitch as, as not what you can see from the from the bench. So the bird's eye view, view is any anyway, much better. So he thinks he's going to pass his information from there down to the coaches and down to the players. 
So the second okay, quarter underway. One step, one step, one step. Nil. Yeah, thank you. Great Britain nil. Ron Altman, it seems to me his body language was sort of say, you know, put your own game on this, play your own style on this game. And it's been turned over here to an opportunity. And it's just run away from Gleghorn. And again, a good press from Great Britain. And India, at the moment, struggling with the press, but they're holding firm at the back when Great Britain have broken through. Well, I think Manpeet was actually had that ball, and uh, Mark Legon grabbed that ball quickly, stole the ball from him, cut towards circle, but he was pressured very well by the Indian defence. They're doing a good pressure, but they got to even move that ball and start attacking, just not staying, staying back in comfort zones in the defence. Middleton trying to prick out Condon. Condon able to bring it under control. Well, I agree with you, Charlie. I think India has stamped their authority on this match and just to stand behind and let things happen for well, here's a chance here. SV Schiller across the face of goal, they've scored! Well, there you go, their very first attack of the game, and it's Mandeep Singh who gets his second goal of the tournament. And Great Britain have made all the running, but it doesn't matter how much possession you have, how many circle penetrations you make, if you can't put the ball in the net, that can happen. Well, I think it was a fantastic run by Sunil. He's a live guy, gets down the flank, gets down to the baseline. Mandeep is actually gets in front of Dixon and just puts that ball and taps the ball inside of the goal. And Mandeep is really good in this position. He's a poacher, he just waits for the ball and he's not, he's, you know, he's quick at his hands, he's quick on his feet, just taps the ball home. It just came away from Dixon, didn't it? After he got the touch on it. For the second goal from open play for Manpreet Singh. Straight back on. Turns. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay, sure. Okay, okay. Just checking that Jackson's okay. Let's have another look at it as he drives through. They're gonna getting him. Disrupt the shot from Jackson. Gives away the free hit. And well, Great Britain received their first goal of the competition, and now it's going to be a test of how they can respond having made the running. Well, I think the, you know, if you look at what Sunil has done in this in the last two matches, all along he used to run with the ball. Nowadays he's actually being a facilitator. He's looking for his players, he runs and gives the ball, and it's a give and go. And he's got the speed, and well, oh. he's got the skill also. And he got into the baseline, he's looking up, scanning who's available, and plays that ball in. But well, those two combined for what the Indian one in the goal from open play yesterday against Germany. Down the right hand side, Sunil putting it back in, and uh, Mandeep there to finish it off. Well, it's, it's a similar goal, but from the other side now. Okay, the same side actually, for right hand side, side on the baseline, coming to the baseline, playing the ball to the uh, just away from the goalkeeper's reach, and Mandeep slotting it home. And again, Mandeep getting in front of his marker, that's important as a striker. Harman Preet. To Raghunath. There from Harman Preet, and that's a lovely looking ball straight into the path. What a pass that is to uh, Vinder Val Mickey. An excellent bring down by Nikin. Well, India has this uncanny knack of a long ball, a long aerial ball, you know, when, uh, when you're they're playing back in the back four. And you look at Herman Preet, he's got a fantastic aerial flick as, as well as Raghunath. They can play the ball for about 50 meters and throw the ball up behind the defense. Lewis to four. Jackson, Lewis, Fox, into the 
the foot, so a free hit for Great Britain. Slow loses out to uh, Nickin. They come back for the initial Great Britain foul, and look at those circle penetrations. Great Britain dominating 10-3. India with eight shots to six. Catlin. <laughs> Almost an opportunity for Great Britain. Well, you look at Herman Preet again. Very cool customer, he's playing as a left defender, gets into the, into the hot line, gets that ball on his stick, covers the, covers the uh, space right in front of the keeper, and just takes the ball past the non-rushing man and clears the ball to safety. He's so young, but he's so cool, and with so much skill and so much speed. Raganath. There's the area that Nikin is in round the back. Nikin now with a chance to run along the baseline. They're in round the back again, India here. And it's gone against Mandeep. Stick block was it? He well, it was a stick obstruction actually. He's got the ball, he's not allowing. You know, he's blocking the stick, that's impossible, so that's what it is. Martin. Sees his attempt to pass cut out by Devinder Valmiki. There is Valmiki. Oof, Armand Treat, a rare error. Come to discuss. It's, it's chipped forward by Ward, and a counter will save from Srijesh. Jackson with the long corner. And that's a really important interception because here they go again. Oh, didn't even look when he dropped that off, Mandy. And just possession back to Great Britain. Jackson with Middleton to his left. Middleton straight up trying to find Brogdon. Brogdon can't bring it under control. And Paddy Moore just ushers it over the baseline. GB is trying to go to direct route from the centre. They go around the inner defence to get more space and more, more angles to score at. At the moment, it's just direct right, right through. If they can move, change the point of attack and then fire through, they'd probably get more opportunities. Ragana, really get a hold of that one. And, uh, well, almost comes off for India. But uh, wasn't given the required distance. And now the sun is out, wouldn't you believe? That's all the has fuss about a couple of hours ago with and soon like rain. <laughs> Jackson. Here for a little roll by himself. Cat Lynch. First touch let him down. Come on, man. Come on. Please. Okay, please. There you go, Barbara. Just as many players to, to settle down. Well, as the pitch drives, I think the ball speed will get faster, the game will get more uh, more intense. We'll get some more, you know, more goal, sc goal scoring opportunities. Cash deep, drops it out. And this Raganath. Cut the jeets. the line. And bring that under control. Lewis. Hall. Now finds himself on the left flank, plays it forward to Catlin. Catlin has the spin on Raganath now. Catlin driving into the circle. Catlin on the reverse stick. And it's wide of the mark. Have two players sliding in, Mantel and Ninjin. Uh, Where was the other player? Well, it's normal to Sunil Kumar. You know, he's normal, he's always coming down. Catherine uh, uh, cuts in hard, and look at Sundagama, he runs, he runs full health to try and block that, block, block uh, Catherine. Yeah. And look at both, look at both of the, the tipping artists, like we call them, getting sliding onto the far post to try and tip that ball in. Yeah. 
camera angle of Henry Weir and Sam Mantel sliding in, trying to get the deflection, it's committing up. on the off chance that might come through. Well, it's, a, it's actually a ploy by Great Britain. They look for the far post all the time. When the goalkeeper is covering the angle and a shot at goal, the far post is normally open for a tip-in, and you have two players sliding in for that ball. Just over five and a half minutes to the half-time break, and uh, Great Britain don't want to get caught by another sucker punch. Oh, it's, it's come back into the centre of the circle again, but this time there was nobody in light blue to pounce. So Mandeep was trying to hit that ball across, and uh, it's like an all-or-nothing cross ball, but there was no possession, I mean, you know, no holding on, looking at the player who was available for that pass, and there were a host of British defenders who got that ball and cleared to safety. Good tackle by Ames, dropped out to Sloan. Sloan back to Ames again, and plenty of white shirts in front of David Ames. Nick Catlin loses out to Ragnar. Martin, Lewis. And unable to keep it under control is Gleghorn. A little more uh, uh, rotation of play in terms of switching it from the help side to the ball side or vice versa to make sure that you can stretch the defence. I think both teams should try and do that in their build-up. Nice little fake by Harman Preet. And the, he's away from Ames. Finds Hardy Moore and you can't get the cross in. You know, at this level of hockey, the first touch is such an important thing because the players are so quick. And, uh, you know, first touch and, and pointing at pressure and going for it. Slick stuff from Great Britain round the back. How can they transfer that skill? into the attacking half. Here goes Sam Ward. Ward on the reverse stick across it comes and number six here. Well ushered out. But Sun does that very well to keep his stick down. Watch his player being mark, marking his player from the front and fact and, and clear the ball away. Dixon running straight into Manpreet Singh. And cry of anguish from Mandeep Singh as he fails to Find the pass down the line. You know, Charlie, many of these players, in fact, every single Indian player playing there has is in the Hockey India League, so they know they played against every, you know, all the all the international players now who play in the Hockey India League, and they know how to handle pressure, and they know how to play against Barry and and, and Ashley and the rest of the guys. Well, rifle across for the Sam Ward. He's into the free out. We'll take it quickly, trying to catch Great Britain on the counter. Talvinder still going into the circle. Jackson gets the it out to Jumping Lewis. Play, no! Live well, one back. Right. Good tackle, good tackle. Manpreet. Shielding the ball. He could have spun around, you know, he had the ball on the left-hand side and he's looking, he's being fresh, the reverse press coming on. Just spin off and come onto your forehand. Lewis throws the aerial ball. Brogdon. Brogdon. Wins the three hit, not five for India. Brogdon, Condon, back to Brogdon, still going. Not for me, not for me, not for me. Play, play, play. Players with their hands in the air. But, uh, play on. And uh, Catlin getting some treatment in the tunnel. But here's a chance. Sunil loving a little look up, waiting for his support runners. And one, well, the only support runners was, Tal was Talvinder Singh, and uh, he slipped on arrival. 
great commitment by Timaya to run right on the line, get that ball, being chased by Balluas, hits the ball across. And uh, Sunil looks, uh, looks for a pass to, to Talvinder, but Pina has us very well to cover the angle and he plays play, 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 play. Middleton trying to make something happen. And he can't. 16. Well, again, Charlie, it was Sunil. He's the live wire in the front there, especially when he gets onto the baseline. Well, it's just 30 seconds until half time. India in no rush to try and get this out of defence, so Great Britain will have to come and push. But there's no midfield, is there? There's an attack and a defence, and nothing in the middle. Well, you're talking about just counter attacking and no build up play, basically. You've got to build and rotate the ball. Keep the ball Behind moving. Him. And play on, says the umpire. And that will be the final play of the first half. There's the half-time hooter. Great Britain dominating possession territory, but not the scoreline, because it is Mandeep Singh's goal that separates the two sides after the first half. It is India 1, Great Britain 0. We have got the goal scorer, Mandeep, with us. Congratulations, great goal. Thanks, thanks, Lord. Yeah. Happy with the first half? Yes, first half is happy. And uh, second half, now uh, coach is saying what you do. So second half, waiting. Were you ready? Because there was a delay to the game, wasn't there, uh, with the rain? But were you ready? It, it looked like it. Yeah, rain is no problem. Rain or uh, hot or no problem. I'm ready. And my team ready, second half. OK, well, you're leading by a goal to nil. Go and enjoy your half-time break and we'll see you in the second half. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Yeah, they were definitely ready for the challenge of Great Britain. Great Britain having most of the possession, probably the majority of the chances, but it's India who lead by a goal to nil. We'll find out whether GB can bounce back. Day two of the Hero Champions Trophy 2016, India against GB. GB having probably majority of the possession, but it's India who have the lead. Let's just have a look at the match stats there. All importantly, India lead by a goal to nil. Fairly even in terms of shots, Great Britain edging it in terms of possession and in terms of penalty corners. There we are, look at that member of the audience just having a go that it's quite difficult as i demonstrated right at the start of the program without a goalkeeper there we are two men that know a bit how to, well one out to save it and one definitely now to flick it in are with me simon mason and austin smith but that is confirmation of the earlier game germany coming back against belgium they were 4-2 down to draw 4-4 four, four. so gentlemen um I suppose it, it looked as if when it's a bit of a hangover from the Australia game, complete opposite, you've got all the possession and you're not defending and they don't really know what to do with it. Was, is that a fair uh, impression of the first half? I, I'd say so. Our comms team actually end remarked that Barry Middleton was trying to make something happen and that feels like exactly what it's like, is that they're, they're getting the ball up to the 25, into the 25 quite easily. They've had double the number of circle penetrations, but it's not turning into anything particularly meaningful. Yeah, I mean, they, they, we'll have a look at a number of chances that they've had, but they do look as if they're not running out of ideas, but they just feel in unfamiliar territory after defending for such long periods against Australia. I think they look a little surprised, actually. The Indian side is defending exceptionally well, I thought. Uh, they've had a few chances there, a few corners there. Asi Jackson, this is uh, one of them here that he's trying to put away. And Srijas really, he's dealt with this well. Not really quite sure what Ashley Jackson was going for there. He looks like kind of a half-hearted effort there. I would like to see him give it a full go and rocket it into the corner, which I know he can do. Are you happy with the intensity, the pace of play coming from GB, Simon? Yeah, uh, I think that they're playing OK, and the Indians will be happy with their pace as well. On the counter-attack, they're doing 
Uh, they're playing a little bit narrow, but there's good pace to what they're doing. But they're just showing a little bit of hesitancy in the circle, I think. Jackson, particularly Austin, you're right. There's just no real clinicalness, and there's just it's just not it's just misfiring slightly. Yeah, uh, and of course, if you don't put the ball in the net, you are going to pay the penalty eventually, especially against India. Yeah, Mandeep did exceptionally well. It was literally a carbon yeah. copy of what happened yesterday with Sunil on the outside pulling it back in. And once again, the young man Mandeep in the right place at the right time. I think you said in the commentary in the previous game, a great goal scorer. It's not always pretty, but they just need to be the right place at the right time. Well, Dixon actually gets a stick on that in front of Mandeep and puts it on a plate for him, but it was all about Sunil's pace. He did it yesterday in the game then, he's just electric. And if you don't get on an inside line and kind of force him out towards the corner flag, once he's got level with you, he's gone. There's absolutely no way you can get a clean tackle well, in and Fox couldn't catch him. It's the players around him, though. We know Sunil has got good pace and he can beat players. He, everybody else around there needs to make sure that they're ready for the ball that's going to be fired in. He's not going to shoot from the base on there. The defending players, they need to be ready to receive that ball. Yeah, uh, what's the message from the GB coach? Because the uh, players, some of the players, actually the GB team is just out now. What do you reckon they, he's been saying at, at halftime? In, in my opinion, Bobby will be asking for width. If you get too narrow, it enables that Indian deep defence to do what they did against the Germans, and just sit back and absorb and make some tackles. If you can play down the flank, so use the power of lures and haw from fullback, distribute wide, and then start to draw defence out, and then you can cut in field. If you just get into this run and gun up and down the middle of the pitch, it's almost impossible to break them down. Yeah, uh, India, um, we know, I struggle to keep hold of a league because they did that against Germany yesterday. Would they have learned vital lessons yesterday? Well, I'd like to say yes, but as a player, <laughs> it's uh, to make those kind of huge structural changes just over the over one night is very difficult to do. That's something really that takes a long time to, to change. Obviously, that will be the plan for today, though. Yeah, the coach has been working on defence, hasn't he? That, he says that's the key to India's success at the very highest level. Oh, it's not just this tournament. They've been, they've been talking about that for a number of years. It's probably only been the last five or six years that they've really started to implement a proper defensive structure and it's paid massive dividends they've moved up the world rankings india have always been able to attack but they just have been gifting opposition goals and now they've stopped doing that all right gents thank you very much indeed let's get back to the commentary team then cedric d'souza and charlie brick thanks chris talk about those world rankings india are seventh in the world britain are fourth has had a good first half. Pinnett, well, he hasn't had a lot to do, George Pinnett. He's made some good saves, but uh, was undone. Nothing he could do really about the goal. Well, he closed the angle down and uh, the ball came past his outstretched foot and then, uh, you know, out of his arm's reach. And, and uh, Dixon actually stopped that ball, it bobbed up, and Mandeep just tapped that ball inside. So here we go, second half underway. India attacking the goal to our right-hand side. The sun is out, the rain has gone, and Great Britain need to try and turn this one around. India, remember, were 3-1 up against Germany yesterday and ended up drawing 3 all. From their perspective, they want to kick on here and continue with their good defence, and if they can nick another goal, goal so much the better. So Britain have turned possession back high up the park. Ogden wins another free hit off Raganath. Martin drops it out to Hall. Lewis. Fox. Yeah. to go back and take it again. Such an unfamiliar sight in Indian hockey where he sees Suni right back in his own 25-yard line. Don't hold that ball. In the good old days, you'd never see a striker getting back. But hockey has changed to such a level that all players have to attack and all have to defend. And what you're seeing about the Indian team today is they've really got a good defensive structure, especially by the strikers who get back in defence. Armin Preet drops it out to Raganath. Raganath weighs up his options. And then is going to go across the park and, and a little bit of bother is Danish. Katajit. 
Shooter in the Kumar to Manpreet, and Manpreet gets past Ward, and Manpreet accelerating into the Great Britain 23. Still going, Manpreet. And Manpreet can't quite find the pass. Wait, bug up. Well, Manpreet has this great dodge. He shows the right hand side and puts the ins outside in dodge, pulls it and goes inside. And he's got speed, you know, he's got thrust. Here is Ward with Mantel in front of him. Here is Mantel. Can he make something happen? Mantel with a shot. Squeeze it wide. Did that come off? But the wait, wait. Ward and Do you need anything? Shrijesh have collided. I think Mantel thought that might have come off sure? the foot of Kotajit. Just take your time. Have another look. No, off the stick. What, this one? Oh, Ward seems to have gone in with the there stick on Shrijesh. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think he was just trying to push him away, so he didn't, well, he didn't actually, collide, but it sort of slid up his... Actually, both time. both players are going for the ball, you know, it's, it's a 50-50 chance, and uh, you know where they're are? going in for a deflection, so he's just trying to cover his post, and it happens in the game, you know, they bang into each other. Three hey. dishes, OK, hey. made a stern stuff as he comes across one, here. Dana. I think Ward's Thank just you. trying to protect himself from pushing away, but uh, they're both OK. Raganath, Armand Preet. Katajita up the line and uh, unable to keep it in. There's Utapa. Fox. Play, play, play. Find Jackson. Still trying to find Jackson, but Utapa's there to cut it out and Manpreet will feed Sunil, who's now on the left flank. Here goes Sunil again, showing his pace. Sunil finding Manpreet. Oh, lovely skill. And they're in again here, India. Oh, they want the... It was the foot of the defence. Penalty corner, Mandeep Singh with a wonderful piece of skill. And in fact, Diego Barras has uh, given it in conjunction with the other umpire. Well, you know, to be without taking anything away from Mandeep, he gets that ball, gets into the circle, he lines up for a shot and he sees the players extending the arm to tackle that ball and then just takes him to the foot. It's really great, great thinking by Manpreet, uh, Mandeep in that in circle. So, first penalty corner of the afternoon the pass, for India. Okay, okay guys. Raghunath and Harmanpreet. Come on. Wait. Raghunath to the left, Harman Preet nearest to the camera, wearing number one. In it comes and it's going to be Raghunath, good save from Pinna and the rebound player gets it away but only half away and the Great Britain struggling to get it clear and it's another penalty corner. It was uh, Mark Leghorn, the rebound player. Couldn't quite get hold of it. The first bit was good. Pinna goes down very well to get that ball. Leghorn tries to cover that ball. Doesn't clear it hard enough. Danish Mustafa has great strength India, in the ball, getting the circle. Avoids the tackle and finds the foot. It's a real penalty corner. Come on, guys. There's no 40 seconds. Come on. We have to play. We don't have 40 seconds here because of the reward. When the whistle. To be sharp. Ready? Harman Preet, Raganath. There's two castles now. Harman Preet to the right, Raganath to the left, and this time it is going to be Raganath again. And that is some stop on the line by Barry Middleton. Has he taken that on the hand? Expect nothing less from the Great Britain skipper. He is an absolute warhorse. Have another look at this. It was a very powerful streak, not enough, not enough. Pressure on Dragunath by the first wave. Maybe it's dangerous. If it goes outside. For me, it goes outside, so it's penalty corner. Is that stick or shoulder? Wait, wait, wait. Wait. He said it's outside. No, I mean, the ball goes outside. No, we can't check. That's a penalty corner. You can check if you like. If the penalty is stuck, just go. Sorry, so it's going wide. Chess one, chess one, chess one, chess one. Chess one, chess one, chess one, okay? Just having a conversation. You wanna, you wanna refer up? Okay. Back up. No, back up. India, India. Right. India wants to. They showed the video replay. You can't 
Yeah. I'm sure you could uh, refer. For crowding, OK? Come on. Come on, you know it, you know it, OK? Yes, yeah, that's fine. Well, back up. We're okay. saying the video had been okay. shown on, okay. the, on the screen. You okay. can't refer okay. so once the video is being... Back up, back up. No, 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 no. we didn't see that. We already asked for shown on the screen. Back up, come on. Wait, come here. I'm asking. You, 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 asked, for, you asked No, no, no. His, his help for stroke. Okay. Otherwise, you asked for stroke. You want to refer out? Yes. OK. 100%. OK. For stroke. Wait. No, no, it was here already. Well, so they're going yeah. for the referral. Are you, are you, are you good? OK, uh, India is on. asking for a uh, stroke. So I'm having a look to see if ball hit the body, and it's going in the goals. Head off the shoulder. Diego? Yes? I have a decision for you. A penalty stroke. The ball is going in the goals. So Middleton can rub his shoulder now. There we go, he's done it. That really hurt. He was desperately trying not to touch it, and he's breathing out the pain. Well, the first thing for me was the, the, the charge of Dan Fox doesn't get hard enough onto the first wave. He doesn't get any pressure on Raghunath. That's all the time in the world to flick that ball towards the second bar. Okay, wait for the and, whistle. Uh, but Middleton was actually down, bobbed down, hit him on the shoulder. Ball going in the goal and a penalty stroke. So Harman Preach up against Pinner. And Harman Preach scores high to Pinner's right hand side. And it's India 2, Great Britain 0. And India have got themselves in the box seat in this one. Great Britain with it all to do. Well, very, very powerful a flick, just past the outstretched arm of Pinner, who went the right way, was beaten on pace. Well, it's a double whammy for Great Britain. They've conceded the penalty stroke, and they've had Mickey Hall sent to the... Oh, Mikey Hall, sorry, sent to the Simbin, as Condon almost replies immediately. Great improvisation by Condon in the circle. You know, just a, just a, a half chance. Got to get the fast ball past Trijesh into the far pocket. The cash deep up against Dixon. Still going a cash deep. Cash deep gets it back. Cash deep on the reverse stick side. And that's gone out for a sideline ball. Yeah, nice one-two pass there. A nice double pass. Obviously, he plays that ball into space and gets the return pass. But he's at a narrow angle. Just play a foot, find a foot, or, or find another player. Don't try to smash that ball from an impossible angle. Condon. To Dixon. Middleton. Play, 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 play. Inside Mandy, fires it into the circle and onto the foot of Kataji. But Sam Watt comes in really beautifully, posts up to receive that ball, gets away from his marker. Bilgil hits that ball, deflects that ball straight into the foot of Kataji and a penalty corner. You've got to be closer to your man when you're marking, you've got to protect your feet and get low. 20 seconds, boys. So. Great Britain with the chance. Ten seconds, get ready now. One of these two goals back. Jackson and Glegg Hall at the top of the circle. Three, two. Not ready and not behind the line either, but Jackson rifles it into the top of the corner. And again, perhaps too much time given to Ashley Jackson, and he makes you pay. That was out of the very top draw, nods of approval from those assembled here at the Lee Valley Hockey and Tennis Centre. Um, what a fantastic drag flick. Ragnar goes and dive, doesn't get him, gives him enough space. Look at him, he's moving away from the first wave line. He has to cover that line completely. Jackson finds enough of space and fires the right roof cut over the, the post. He surrender and a goal. Well, just, what, flick. just what Great Britain required, an instant reply to going two down. And still with 
Mikey Hoare off the park. So India 2, Great Britain 1. And we have just under 25 minutes of this match remaining. Just a minute between India going into a two-goal lead and Jackson halving the deficit. Taji to gave away the kind of corner that led to the equaliser. What's surprising to see Charlie is Harjit, young Harjit not being played at all. He's sat out the entire half and he has, he's sitting on the bench there. Oh, one wonders why a player of that calibre. Good tackle, good tackle. with a chance here to try and retake the lead. Thank you. Here is Surrender Kumar. Yes, watch so now. Doesn't get the sideline ball. Good thinking by Hoare, who's back onto the pitch. It's 11 versus 11 once more. for his attempted tackle. 13 shots to 12 in favour of India. Raganath, a little pressure from Gleghorn, but finds Surinder Kumar. Hardeep Moore. With the Sunil and Hoare, who just picked up a green card. Might perhaps... Perhaps a little lucky not to pick up another one for the well, push. Very the fortunate back. because it's also the 25 yard yeah. line, so it could be, have been a penalty corner or it could have been a, you know, another card, a harsher card, it could have been yellow. Sunil so far the main threat for India. Jimmy Sana to Hardeep. Hardeep winds it up, cracks it across the circle. That's his trademark, is it? As a right defender, he normally overlaps into play, gets deep into the pockets for a firing ball, and he does that. But I think, you know, when you get into that position, it's not a question of just the all or nothing cross ball. You've got to make sure you get it to your player and not lose possession in the last quarter. Condon takes it quickly, feeds it in field, trying to find Mantel, but uh, two forwards, one on the same wavelength. Ninsana to Pardeep. Pathajit being pressed all the way. Ward and then Raghunath throws the aerial. Condon comes across to cut it out. Easily cut out. Lewis backing it up in the middle of the park and Mantel touches it into the path of Brogdon. He steps on the ball. Such a beautiful one-touch reflection for Brogdon. Really fantastic pass by Mantel running to the place, looks at the player running up in front to receive that ball. Absolute super. And then play, some skill play, of his play, own play, by Calvinder. Oh, bringing it away, cuts inside. And it's going to go to the bench for that. And Diego Baba saying, you don't really give me much choice. 
Manpreet Singh. Well, the block gets a green card. Come on, guys, hey! But this is GB's chance to play 10, 11 versus 10, you know, and uh, at this level of hockey, you must make sure that teams with numerical advantage normally get the equalizer or winner in that, in that situation. Sideline ball. Come on, come on, hey! It's up, Paul. Fox. To Ames. Ames down the middle of the park, picks up Ward. Ward with the opportunity. Ward misses. The crowd in front of us go up because they think he's at the backboard, but I think there's been a touch and it's a long corner. Jackson back into the danger area looking for Middleton. Doesn't fall for Middleton. Dixon finds another long corner. We see the replay come in. Sri just makes the save. Or Ames now can turn Martin into Ward. Ward off the foot. Big five, come on. Andre Britton patiently keeping possession, probing, waiting for the opportunity to arise. Middleton well, has to pull out of the pass and. Uh, Consequently, it goes awry, and the one-time touch up the line releases Sunil. Sunil onto the reverse stick, can't keep it in, 16. Well, you know, the, the intention of Barry Middleton was looking for his posty, the post-up man to come and receive that ball. He didn't post up enough, actually went wide. If he posted up, he would have got that ball in that space which was available. Martin looking for Middleton, but easily cut up by Harman Preet. And Dortmund leaning on the fence in front of the bench. Still India 2, Great Britain 1. India going into a 2 0 lead for actually Jackson with a trademark drag flick. Full run back for Great Britain. Jackson, first time across, and good defensive work by Surrender Kumar. But soon there's a boy from Delhi Bebradas. He's had a fantastic season for in the Hockey India League for us, and he's showing he's got his chance in the Indian team for the first time. He played in the Aslan Shah, and now is his second tournament for India, and he's really playing a clean pair of heels, showing great stuff in defence. Dixon. A little fortunate not to get the card for that tackle. Harman Preet. To Raganath. We are now on the left flank for. India, Harman Preet. It's good to see that India moving for a four-man attack, for a four-man build-up into a two-man build-up, and pushing more players up in the, into the flanks. And the ball just getting caught under Dixon's feet. He can get it out in front of him. Inside the final 80 seconds. Here is Lewis. And he's the free hit. Here is a cash deep. And Nickin wants to put the ball played on that angle, but Michael uh, was there to cut it out. Martin. Michael Ho actually catching the hotline ball very well, just staying in the zone in the centre. All the way through to Middleton. Middleton on the reverse stick. Surrender Kumar with a really important touch. It's your man again, Cedric. Well, he's done it a couple of times in this in this tournament, the first two matches, yesterday and today. He's really good, he clears the line, he gets into the position quickly, puts his line, his body in line, look at him, he come forward, and look at him, he just put his stick forward, always, every time he put his body on the line, get low and get that ball. A lovely lead by Condon there, to allow the ball through to Middleton. 
Lovely hockey all round. Kastif looking for the support, but he's on his own. And Sunil or Nikin outside him. Final 10 seconds. And we are going to go to the final break with India in front. There it is, the three-quarter time hooter. And India lead by two goals to one. They were 2-0 up in that third quarter. But so that man there, Ashley Jackson, got one back for Great Britain with 15 minutes to go. India two, Great Britain one. So, Cedric, let's have a look at these goals again. And, There's uh, no pressure on that ball by Dan Fox. He's running out, doesn't get enough in, in line of the ball. See, so Ronald Altman's wanting it preferred. And Middleton on the post, he gets the ball on his shoulder on a clean penalty stroke, which is fired in by Harman Preet, right in the top corner of, of Pinner. And then this was the penalty corner given away by Kotajit. How about this for a drag flick? They don't get much better than that. A super, you know, and if you look at it, Raghunath is not actually running in line with the ball. He's, he's an open stance, he's not a closed stance, and he gives Ashley all the time in the world to fire that ball past Sri to the left corner. The postie, absolutely no chance. Well, he could have had almost two keepers in there and they might not have stopped that one. I mean, it was really in the top corner. But it's very finely poised, this one. And from an Indian perspective, having given up a two-goal lead against Germany, they'll want to see out this win because that will give them the confidence. They, they lose another two-goal lead. It's going to, it's going to be a real job. Let's listen. Let's go to Mike Absalom, who's uh, pitch side. Yeah, I'm here with Warren Altman's, the Indian coach, and um, certainly the big screen had its influence there in the decision making for the penalty stroke. Your no, no we, we immediately said it was stroke, but the umpire was not showing what it was. He was waiting so long for taking a decision. Yeah, then, then you see it three more times. But you know, I said immediately go for a referral, go for a stroke. It was clear to me. Must be very happy with the way things are going. Well, I must say we are improving every match. And again today in the match, we didn't start well in the first quarter. After that, I think we played two good quarters, but there's still an important one to come. Keep going. Thank you. So, yes, Cedric, I'll just come back to you on that point about losing the lead from an Indian perspective, seeing it through for a win. Well, I think, you know, the important thing to understand is that India is actually playing a kind of good defensive structure. Even yesterday when they, lost, when they, when they drew with Germany after a 3-1 up, but the question was they still had a structure and they actually made two small blunders which the Germany capitalised on and that's the key issue of, uh, you know, a young team has to be able to maintain its decorum and its discipline right through for the entire match, not only in patches. And hopefully they can show it in this match, they'll learn from the mistakes from the video and probably just not make the same mistakes again here. Well, time will tell. The next 14 and a bit minutes. Well, there's a lot of talk going on that Harjit is not playing today because he gave that hack in the 25-yard line which led to a penalty corner and finally a penalty stroke with Germany equalised on. So I think he's been penalised and, I mean, punished basically. In the same thing. Not allowed to play at all today. What colour card is that one? <laughs> well, it's the coach's card. <laughs> the coach's card. Surrender Kumar. Now the line he goes, but uh, too far in front. Ames to Lewis to Fox. Fox. Nice ball into Condon, but he can't keep it in play. It's the first touch again on baseline. You've got to get low as much as possible and keep the ball on the forehand. He hits yeah, the ball okay. on the forehand, flicks it over onto the left and out of, out of the sideline. On the baseline, sorry. Cutter Jeeps. The sideline ball. Harman Preet. Kotajit. Lovely little ball to uh, Manpreet. Still going Manpreet into the circle. Manpreet 
all the way. No, solid defence by Fox. Well, he actually overran the ball, and the ball went between his feet because he cut. He did a beautiful lead and, and carried the ball with a lot of strength into the circle. Fair call, lifting it into Armand Preet. He's above the knee. And Van Ban right there. That's heartening to see Herman Preet. Normally you'd see a youngster throwing a stick when he has, you know, when there's a play on the baseline and he just waits and hopes for waits for the attacker to make the first move and then you know just steals the ball away. Mr. with a little touch, Dixon picks it up. Here's Middleton. In the field. Good to see G building up, you know, but just not holding the ball. One touch passes, uh, rotating play as much as possible. And you can see this give and go, which is actually the strength of BGB, and, and to move them in defense. Lewis. Middleton. Little look up, finds Brogdon, one time touch inside. Lovely pick up from Jackson. Jackson now has a little look up, decides to hold on to the ball. Turns uh, Raganath, but uh, gets nothing for his troubles. Well, the most important thing, again, is when you get into the baseline, you've got to have a guard position ready to play that ball back. You've got Raghunath, who is a giant in front of you. Just don't try and cut through him. Make him commit first. Play the ball to the guard and then switch the game around. Don't lose the ball in the last pocket. Cash deep, looking for Tardif on the outside, but Tardif Moore doesn't have quite the legs. No, coming up next, it is the uh, Kookaburras, Australia. They look in uh, good mood. Up against Korea, the surprise package from yesterday, the lowest ranked side in the competition, up against the highest ranked side in the competition. I think Korea might have to have their A game on them today, but they confused us all yesterday, or confounded us all. Well, Charlie, I think what you saw with Koreans was the fact that they were so patient in their in the defence, they waited and waited and waited. He played to the half court, waited for a chance, and then. Oh, well, it's just been stolen here, and there's an opportunity. Oh, swing and a miss! Swing and a miss from Mandeep. And Great Britain almost guilty of dribbling it out of defence and being caught. Well, you know, Mandeep gets that ball, he looks for that hit, and he misses it completely. You know, he had. Or running inside to get pressure on that ball, but he was nowhere in line. There was no stress on him. He tried to take a quick shot and basically got a ball against him. They missed the ball completely. Kotajit. Karaganath. And the line it goes. OK, uh, Mike is uh, down on the uh, Great Britain bench. Who have you got, Mike? Uh, I've got James Bailey, if you can see us. He's somewhere around here. Have you got, have you got us? Oh, on this camera. Perfect. Great. Good to see you. Uh, James, your assessment of how it's all panning out for you guys in going into this final quarter? Uh, it's, been, it's been tight. It's been a bit scrappy at times, but I think we've played our way into it. Um, we, if we just stick to our game plan, then we're uh, fairly confident that the chances will come. What was said in that final quarter time talk? Essentially that. Um, stick to keep keeping playing our game um, and not not to get stressed and focus too much on, uh, you know, on how the how the results gone. All right, back to the action. Cool. Well, Ward just uh, winning possession back, oh, then uh, can't do anything with it. And the, what an outlet ball that is to Mandy. Mandy streaking into the England or Great Britain 23. Excuse me, drops it back out. And here now is uh, Utapa. Utapa with Pardee more outside him, but uh, Great Britain crowd him out. Here is Middleton. Eight minutes just over remaining in the match. India two, Great Britain one. Middleton with a cash deep for company. Lovely skill from Barry Middleton trying to find Jackson. And an important touch by Ching and San. Oh, fantastic touch by Shilin Sala. Actually, the ball played beautifully by Middleton. Just outside, looked like outside the reach of Shilin Sana, who stretches all the way through and just touches the ball away, away for safety. And Mr. Condon, and Shilin Sana's there again. Well, he's very quick on his feet, you know, and, he, and he's doing a great defensive job. He's a midfielder who's playing very well in defence. 
The good thing is you see all the players now become good defenders. Look at the circuit penetrations heavily in Great Britain's favour, despite uh, possession being in India's. The shots stay the same. Be careful, eh? Don't do it. Don't hold him. Don't do it. So Andrew Kumar just being spoken to. Thanks, Diego. Touch forward. Oh, yeah, Jackson and Mantel just popped up off his stick. Yeah, it was a great touch, a lead touch by uh, Jackson running inside. First touch deflection. Mantel getting into position, actually closing him down, and the ball rolls up into dangerous play and a foul against GB. Katajit to Paddy Moore. He has some space and much to work with. Moore put his head up, fires it in, and the cross comes. Fox to clear. Here's as far as Lewis. Condon. Mantel. Mantel comes inside to surrender Kumar. And that wins the free hit, which uh, Ashley Jackson will take. Ames. Fox. Martin. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, I'm here, eh? Slane. It's now Mantel. Mantel. This is crossing. Right. Long corner. So I'm going to perhaps needing to play that. You know, he should let the ball go uh, uh, along, along the sideline. Martin into the foot of Raganath, taken quickly. Lewis cracks it in. All the way in. Mantel doesn't get a touch on it. 16. Well, a good intention because the ball was in the pocket and comes back to the. 25-yard line, change the point of attack and fire the ball inside past the defence. Mantle stretching all the way down to try and get that ball in, but he misses it. Looking a little anxiously now with only 5.20 remaining. And here goes Harman Preet. What an important touch that is by Ames in front of his keeper. Good hockey all round. First from Harman Preet and then by David Ames. And look at the amount of space. I'm not he gets and he, he drives through that space, he finds the pace and he goes for it. He's a youngster who doesn't have a fear of going for that ball. And he goes into the circle, fires the ball towards and aims there beautifully to trap it and play the ball out. They're in again here. Yeah, no, they're not. Because it's going to start defending. Man, yeah, perfect, number seven. Thank you. Yep, it's okay. It's a long corner. Harman Preet. Raganath. Kuma. Harman Preet. Jackson applying the pressure. But he's plowing a lone furrow up there. Joined now by Ward. But Hardy to Sunil. Martin wins that particular battle. Lewis, Sloan. Brogdon against Harman Preet. Trying to find Sloan. Sloan into the circle. Chance here for Ward. Penalty corner. A beautiful movement by GD. Had the ball in the left pocket, finding space down the flank, played the ball back towards the midfield position, and a, and a great turn in the circle, and finding a footman shot at goal. I mean, that was really GD at his best. Fourth penalty corner for Great Britain in this match. And it comes with just 3.37 remaining in it. Jackson is there, Ward is there. Get ready. Jackson on the right-hand side of course scored Great Britain's only goal Four, in the match but in the competition go. so far but Ward to his left who's going to take this one on going to be Jackson once more good run it falls to Ames who slaps it wide and I think it actually got a touch off the postman Surrender Kumar but Surrender is actually a really good postie he does it a lot for us in Delhi Wave Riders he's fearless and he's, he keeps low Fox fires it in, another long corner. 
Well, the ploy by India was actually a two-man run. If you look at it, both both two strikers going out forward. The first wave had two strike, two of them going in, and actually Sujesh completely beaten, and, and Surinder gets low and pushes the ball out. Well, the spin by Weir is well read, and Vanish well then gets robbed again. Ward has Ames, Ames to Fox inside. Three to play. Very Britain. Perhaps will roll the keeper, have a kicking back. And there he comes, there's the shrill of the whistle. And uh, Mantel brings on the bib. And, uh, gives it to Mikey wait, Hall. Wait. And, uh, wait, wait, wait. Pinner is pulled. Just wait for it. Wait, there we go. Oh, now has the bib on, so we're good to continue. Turn and spin by Sloan. Sloan driving into the circle, still going Sloan. And big, strong stick from Man Man at Manpreet. It's back with Great Britain, Drogden. To Mantel, Dixon to the right-hand side. So Mantel almost runs into that space, so he plays it back out to Ames. Under two minutes remaining here for Great Britain. Brogdon plays it on to Sloan. Sloan into the circle, it's for high Mantel. And then you have the free hit, and they're not going to rush this one. Well, that was a good sustained defensive work by India, holding on, waiting, just waiting for the right opportunity to steal that ball, and Surinder again gets that ball in front of Mantel. And steals the ball for India and safe. Makes it safe. Here goes Brogdon and fell to Jackson. Jackson's first touch too heavy. Oh, he just gets it there to win the free ball. Jackson pars it forward. And ping behind for a long corner. Jackson wants the ball which he gets, throws the little aerial out to that right-hand side. Great Britain have got to get this ball into the circle, it's into the circle, cross the face of goal. And good work from Manpreet. Inside the final minute, and India not really where they want to be, Great Britain certainly where they want to be. And patient play here from Great Britain, still going. First foul outside, we're bringing it into the circle. Ames has the ball, throws the aerial back out to Mikey Hall. Four. has Lewis to his right, he's got no other option though. Great Britain have pushed so far up, there's nowhere else to go. That hooter, not the official hooter, that's in the crowd. And here goes Mandy, this to steal it, and it's come off the foot rock. So, another 18 seconds. It's now or never for Great Britain. Lewis has got to ping this in. Little look up and it comes. And India have seen it out. They've just got five seconds remaining now. And Raghunath has done enough. And India will register their first win. A first win over Great Britain in this competition. Middleton wants the video. And it might be a bit late, I think. It's all over. Diego Barbas. It's all over. No, they're not going to get the referral, and Bobby Crutchley's men are now in last chance saloon. They simply have to win all their matches now, you feel, to have a chance of making the gold medal match. But credit to India, they hung on to their goal, two-goal lead this time. No silly errors like they made against Germany. Definitely, they kept the defensive structure very strong, kept it tight. There was man-to-man -man marking, there was some great frontal marking getting in front of the player when a loose ball was coming in. And I think for me, the standout was Surinda Kumar in defence. She just in the first couple of minutes was great in the goal. But an all-round great team effort to get a 2-1 victory against GB after so many years. Well, Barry Middleton not happy, he wanted to refer it. He was trying to get a late penalty corner for the ball being knocked away at a free hit. I mean, he, he can st keep still talking, they're not going to bring him back. He'll have to make... Well, hold on, they are going to refer it, are they? Hold on. 
Oh, Middleton is. Well, this could prove interesting. Well, they're going to call them back. Well, <laughs> it's strange because you know it's a it's a situation where he kept asking for the referral. The L Empire said no, 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 and then Middleton kept at it. And uh, after the whistle went off, he asked for it, but nobody actually. The the planes have gone off. Are they going to say come back? I don't think so. Well, this is extraordinary. They've gone upstairs for a kind of a referral for something that's happened. But they're all they're all off the pitch, and so they're not going to call them back right, on for a penalty. Well, maybe they will. If you want a referral, you must get the referral. All right. But, all right, so if I do the referral now, yeah. would you? Is it. What's the question then? Uh, they deliberately knock the ball away. All right. Yeah. Can, can you check if there's that any influence on the game? I'll check for knocking the ball away. Good. Wow. Yeah, and influence on the game. Okay. This is going to be fascinating. Uh, Middleton, to be fair to him, was going on and on and on and on at it. Well, he's saying he's not the ball away there. Oh. Well, actually, the ball is he, the whistle is gone and so the player is moving the ball the, away. The, any on so the if he hadn't heard the whistle, he'll say he hadn't heard the whistle. Oh, well, they're saying he's on, on the pitch. So. Oh no. Good. Yeah. You can, hold on. Here we go. There is no clear reason to change right. your decision. Thank you. There's no reason to change. Okay, yep. so that is how it ends. And very, India have their first victory. They've beaten the Great Britain by two goals to one. And uh, well, let's uh, have a look at that full time score and what it means for the table. The full time score India two, Great Britain one. The goal scores. Mandeep Singh and Ham, Hamanpreet Singh and for Great Britain it's Ashley Jackson but this is what it means India now top the table with four points Great Britain are on one point in their next match against Korea the first match after the rest day is now very very important India play Belgium so a really important game for Belgium as well so a little bit of controversy at the end of this match but India have their first win they've won it by two goals to one.